All right, we'll see if we can make this work. See if you guys can hang out in the shower with me. Boy, if my wife finds out that I'm putting myself in the shower on YouTube, whew, she'd be so jealous. All right, well, we got a dripping shower. This is never fun, it just aggravates me. So, <clears throat> got a new valve body. We're gonna see if we can't replace the, uh, or valve cartridge, I should say. See if we can't replace the cartridge today and make your stop All right, well, <clears throat> before we can work on the showers, we gotta turn them off. And this is the beauty of this manifold system. As I tried to explain to you guys before, this is in our downstairs ceiling. So we'll just take this little cover off here, which is a spring loaded. And then, voila. There's the manifolds. Woo, and there are some cobwebs. Very cobwebby. And very not insulated. I thought I did a better job with the insulation than that. All right, so here is cold supply. Master bath showers, they share cold. So we can turn that off. And then on the hot supply up here, that one says sink and dishwasher for the kitchen. Master bath shower one south. We'll turn that one off. Wait, south. That one I can leave on. Master bath sinks. Master bath shower two north. Turn that one off. I'll show you that label again just so you can see. MB shower two in north. So that's mine. That's the one we're going to work on. It's on the north wall. So there we've turned off our colds and hots, but everything else in the house is still left on. So. Important there, that's the whole point of this manifold system. I don't have to kill the entire house just to work on one little thing. Let's get up there and get into it. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. First, we have to take this little trim cover off, which just snaps on. And then we take this main center screw out. That lets your temperature controls come out. <clears throat> and then your handle comes off. That should be a trim ring. There it comes. Rubber O-ring in there that holds that trim ring on. You leave the O-ring on there actually because that's just on your brass body. There's this little ring here, threads off. A little pressure on it. And I was wondering if maybe we would find some debris in there. I don't see any. Of course, you guys can't see in there, but there's no obvious debris. No chunks of debris. I thought maybe because. We don't have a whole house filter that maybe there would be something in there, but I'm not seeing anything. This new kit comes with new valve seats, it looks like. But I think for right now, I'm not gonna replace them. I'm just gonna throw this new valve assembly in and see what happens. And then if it doesn't still hold, then I'll come back and I'll replace all those little rubber bushings. All right, so before we begin reassembly, I will show you one thing. As you take pieces off, I've lined them all up here on the windowsill in the order that they came off, right to left. So the first thing that came off was the trim, last thing to come off was that ring, and then of course the valve body itself. Now this is the new valve body. So let me get this set back up and I'll show you. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so the old one, you got these two tabs here, these two notches. And the old valve body had two triangular pegs basically that fit in those notches. The new one only has one. The new one just has one square peg right there, but that should be okay. So going back on our reassembly, we're gonna get that square peg in first. Well, that's interesting. Huh. drips on me every time. I wonder if that's why the old one was leaking. I never noticed you could turn the valve body with that peg like that. So we might have to do a little troubleshooting here. Put that one in. 
and then your this is your hold down ring that actually keeps the valve body clamped in trim ring remember you've got an o-ring here that is a seal but mostly it just holds this thing in place trim ring in place it'll roll backwards as you push the trim ring on but it's okay handle the handle's got two little smooth sides that line up with these two smooth sides on the deal so that feels right temperature dial temperature dial you've got a C and an H the more you put it towards the H the hotter your water will get so I'm gonna put it all the way on the H because I like good hot showers you gotta hold that or else it wants to fall out this is your actual temperature control you can see it's got a kind of oval shaped or square sided slot in the back that fits on this peg and it should line up with your on off handle here and when it's all the way to the down it should line up with your on off handle and then you should be able to turn it oh yeah see i got something out of line there it's not wanting me to turn which means i got that valve body 90 degrees out so okay i'm gonna let you guys see this just for proof that i do make mistakes take all that back out this I think needs to be rotated so this peg here is even with the eyelets let's see oh dripped on again lord you think it would finish dripping eventually you think it would run out of water drip on back let's see if I can turn that now It seems like it's 180 degrees out. I don't know how I got this so confused. Oh. You gotta be careful doing this too that you don't strip your teeth off because those are plastic teeth and this is a metal handle. So that turns normal. When I put my handle on here, what in the world? Okay, so I think it's upside down. I somehow had it right on accident the first time. <laughs> okay, I think that's correct. That's in tight. That's in tight. That feels right. Temperature control all the way hot. Full range of motion there. So see now our pegs line up, the on off handle, temperature handle. So they line up when it's off, this is all the way hot. Let's try that. Goodness gracious. So easy fix here, took me a little bit longer than it should have because I had to redo it three times. Um, and that's just my fault for not paying attention as I first took it apart, I should have just been paying attention. Snap our trim ring back on. Okay, so this would be shower on, off, temperature all the way cold, temperature all the way hot. So let's go turn our water back on and see how she does. All right, we'll see if we can make this work. See if you guys can hang out in the shower with me. Boy, if my wife finds out that I'm putting myself in the shower on YouTube, whew, she'd be so jealous. I'm gonna turn the shower head back into the corner so it's not spraying on us. So now it's off. So that's on. Well, we got flow anyway. Almost seemed like it hesitated for a second, but it may have been airing lines. So that's on full cold. Now we'll crank it full hot. We'll see if it warms up or not. It's going to take about a minute or two to warm up, so I'll turn you back on. All right, I can feel it starting to warm up now. That's comfortably hot. That's enough you can take a good hot shower. Getting hotter. 
bit more towards, I would say, you know, venturing on the uncomfortably hot line, which with your hand, it's a little easier. Sometimes, you, you know, you guys will learn this, obviously. Getting in the shower, you'll test the temperature with your hand and it feels good. Then you step in and it feels like you're in a scorcher because you just get more, more of it. But yeah, that's plenty hot. Yeah, that'll do. Turn it off. No drips. <laughs> no drips. There's a little bit of dripping, maybe just from the shower head itself. But not like before. You guys saw it before. Steady drip all day, every day. So, it's early, but I call it fixed. Call it done. That universal valve replacement, I think it cost me $25 on Amazon. Um, I actually went, so I had to remember what trim kit I had to make sure that it would work with my trim kit. Which, if you go back to my videos, this was a Delta Multi-Choice 17 series. So when you go and you look at like Home Depot or Lowe's, it's gonna say on the replacement valve bodies that it fits either like a 13 or 14 or a 17 or 18 series, something like that. So this was a 17 series. I think they wanted 30 bucks. I pulled my phone out right there in the store, looked, Amazon was 25, free shipping to the house. Boom, gonna go for it. That's not a shameless plug for Amazon. I'm just telling you I saved five bucks. Granted, I was already at the store, but I saved five bucks. Of course, I had to pay taxes, whatever. It's like a dollar saved. But I did find it on Amazon. Just make sure you get the right valve body cartridge cartridge not valve body make sure you get the right cartridge for your particular trim kit to make sure that it's all going to line up but it's looking like it's fixed i'm super happy with that